today we've come to Newcastle under Lyme in Staffordshire, to Ruth's home, where she lives with her husband and baby daughter Neve. Her sister Helen, her father-in-law Peter, and her husband Andy are behind the surprise. But Ruth's got no idea we're here with top designer Richard Randall and the team. Wow, what a day to be doing the patio area. Now, the reason we're doing the patio area is because the living room and dining room space isn't quite two rooms. OK. So to extend the space, to actually bring the inside out, we're going to do this lovely patio area. I think it's brilliant. We spend a lot of time out here. Um, so if you can make this look a lot nicer and a little bit more functional, then it's double thumbs up in my book. OK. Uh, furniture's all a little bit old out here. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, pretty much. This was purchased because at the time it was cheap and you could sit on it. Um, <laughs> Ruth can't stand it. Um, she'd much prefer something nicer than green plastic. OK. Is it a sun trap? Um, it is, yeah. Um, we get hours and hours of sun in the afternoon. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad you've said that, because with two little ones, obviously, the sun protection is vital, so we're going to be putting an awning on here as well. Oh, brilliant. Mm, so it is going to be a real fabulous sheltered area, but an area that you can use all year round. I'm a little bit of a crazy fool for wanting to do this area, though, because this is going to be our ex access in and out of the makeover, so all the furniture, paint, wallpaper's got to come through here. And, of course, it's raining the day I decide to go into yeah. a garden. So um, we've got the odds against us, but I know it will be worth it. Definitely. Anything you want to keep out here at all? The patio. <laughs> Just the floor. There's nothing really that we want to keep. Feel free to take the weeds and the, uh, the horrible rain. Oh, I'll be sure to do that. I don't know about the rain, but we'll try. <laughs> Shall we go and see the final room? Okay. Definitely. Three, two, one. <whistles> patio area, that's what I like to see the awning going up there. Barbecue being built. Are you very green-fingered, Pete? No, they're red. <laughs> oh, you're going to be though. No, 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 this is, this is not... Uh, don't let the wife see me doing this. Oh, well, she will. Now, I don't oh. want these too formal, cos what I want to do here is I want to create kind of a higgledy-piggledy... Right. ..design. I don't yep. want them too formal, but okay. what we are going to do is plant these, but I want taller ones coming up to give lots of depth here. It's going to act as a border, a floral right. border. Cos what I want to do with this space is I want right. this to be a whole zone. OK. So dining room at the front, living room in the middle, and then this is going to be a real fantastic entertaining area. Right. OK. And then what do you think to the fact that up here we're going to have an awning up there? Oh, it'd be great. And then when the little ones are out here, they won't get too hot to be in the shade. Yeah, perfect. Well, get stuck in. You yes. will be green finger by the end of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK, guys, I'm sorry to tell you this, but there's less than ten seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two... One! Yeah! Tools yeah. and paintbrushes down and everybody out. Yeah. Round of applause, everybody. <clears throat> I think you've done really, really well. There's absolutely loads to do today and we've got the weather against us. Whose idea was it to do the garden? My idea to do the garden, and it's still raining. We've got a lot of dressing to do. There's a potting table, there's all that lovely black furniture, there's more plants to put out, um, and you've got to get on with the awning that's going to come across the top in that lovely bold yellow and white stripe. So, Pete, can you make sure all that dressing is done perfectly and looks wonderful? Yes, Richard. That's what I like to hear, a bit of positivity. Are we ready to randalise? Yes! No, that won't do. Are we ready to randalise? Yes! Three, two, one... <laughs> How's the garden looking? Oh, uh, Peter, are you liking the garden? Of course. What do you think to the awning? Oh, absolutely brilliant. That's, that's really going to cheer up the back. Real simple motion. We're going to leave that out now, then if it rains, we're all right then. Well, the sun's come out now, oh. which is nice. But isn't this great? Yeah, the fact that this brilliant. whole space can be used Fabulous. in the strong sun, in the rain. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Thanks to the man from Derby. Uh, now, Dave, yeah. Yeah. the man from Rich. Derby. Dave, uh, tell me a bit about this. What's the total cost of this with you fitting it? Well, uh, manual will be about two two, about two and a half thousand pounds to motorise. Okay. Um, nice little feature of this one. It's actually narrower at the back, projects further forward because the arms cross underneath the bottom of the. Oh, arm. I wondered why those came underneath. So is yeah. that why? It's because we've got all of the length here coming out. A, yeah, we've got a, a, a small width. We want to go further forward. So instead right. of the owning the arms fitting into a box. Um, they fit underneath the, the box and then project out. Can you see yourself having a bit of vino and a nice oh, barbecue here? Not me? Red wine? <laughs> alcohol? Oh, I think you're going to get hours of enjoyment out here. If not days. Now it's... <laughs> hey, go and find them legs. Oh, no. Right. 
good. Uh, wow, outside air is looking a bit packed. Lucy, how are we doing? Yeah, good. Yeah. So, table needs to go down. That's got a glass top to it. Cushions can come out. There should be another two cushions, shouldn't there, somewhere? A uh, glass top, Dave, is somewhere for there. Yeah, Do you know where it is? Okay, okay brilliant. Oh, will somebody give me a hand with this tree? Yeah. One, two, three. Lovely. What I love about that is I love the spiral stem. This lovely ball laurel here is going to work really lovely on the eye once just sat inside. What, Pete, what's that sunflower down there? Uh, well, do you want me to arrange it somewhere? <laughs> yes, I just think here is lacking yellow and colour look. It looks right. a bit nettly well, and woody. Well, I think maybe some a nice bit of foliage over, over here would be nice. And a couple of cushions as well on here for Lucy as well, if you could grab a couple, would be nice. Yeah. I've got the perfect place for that here, Pete. Right, there you are. Perfect. So there's no extra plants there, no? Oh, look at that. See what a difference that makes, Pete? Perfect. Looks beautiful. I am slightly regretting doing this hair out. However, it was absolutely vital to do. I would have liked a nice day to do it in, but it's going to be like an extension with no walls. It's fabulous. Because of this awning that comes out, it's going to create shelter, which is a good job it does, and it's also going to create shade in the sun. So the whole family can really enjoy this space. And not just the four of them, but the extended family as well. It's looking beautiful. There's been heavy rain today in Newcastle under Lyme, but it hasn't put a dampener on our makeover at Ruth's. With the help of her husband Andy, her sister Helen and her father-in-law Pete. <laughs> Well, guys, would you like to go and see your new home? Love to, yes. Pete, lead the way. Okay. Oh, Sixty minutes ago, this was Ruth's garden. She hated the plastic furniture and the patio was cluttered and disconnected from the rest of the house. Wow, even the sun's come out. It's amazing how an awning, a few flowers and new garden furniture have made this a much more stylish and enjoyable space. Come and have a look at your new patio area. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what do you think? Ooh, gorgeous. Wow. The plants. To everything. Check out that. That's brilliant. That's wow. amazing. Mm -hmm. Furniture. About that? Yeah. <laughs> hey? No, it's fair to say it was a little bit neglected out here, wasn't it? Yeah. A bit of plastic furniture, a plastic slide, and yeah. just a bit of a dumping ground. And, and when I came to design the inside, I just thought this was a great space for you and your family to use. Yeah. There are another two chairs to this set, but we've left them out so that we could show you and get you all in now. And I just thought you and your family can have some really lovely summer evenings out here. And wanted to do the awning for the colour and also so that you can use it a lot of the year for shelter Fantastic. and for shade yeah. and for your little ones to enjoy. Brilliant. It's fabulous, isn't it? It's amazing. It's better than I could have imagined. Pete, you were out here doing all this, putting it all together in the pouring rain, because yeah. it has rained a lot, I'm afraid. Uh, just a bit. Has it turned out what you thought it would yeah, be? Yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. It's, it's just so much different from what it was. And what are your thoughts on the colour yellow? I like the colour yellow. You yeah. like the colour yellow? Mm. There might be a little bit more of it throughout okay. the house on this level. However, the next room I want to show you is on the upstairs level. OK. Should we go and have a look at it? Yes. Yeah. Lead the way, Pete. Lots of rain today, but a fantastic makeover. Thanks a lot, team. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.